Hi, I'm Twig, and welcome to the community's picks for the top 10 best domino and machine videos of 2018. Please note that we will be reviewing these videos as they are playing, so if you would like to watch the videos without commentary, then there is a link to a playlist in the description. Alright, let's get started. Number 10, DDT 2018 Wildlife by Dutch Domino Team. To start off this list, we have this year's edition of Dutch Domino Team's annual event, which consists of over 200,000 dominoes. The theme was to recreate numerous animals and other aspects of nature from around the world out of dominoes, and while this event struggles like many others to keep a steady pace throughout the setup, almost all of the designs and ideas are highly creative. The setup is nicely divided into six sections, clearly indicated by the world map centerpiece displaying each of the continents. As someone who is generally not a fan of this style of setup, I was pleasantly surprised with how much variety there was in terms of representing the different animals. The sections such as the waterfall, snake, peacock, spiderweb, and Amazon River are very original, and a nice change from the usual computer-generated field designs that many events so heavily rely on. And yet, the field plans in this event also look excellent. It's really clear how much planning went into this and how they weren't afraid to think outside the box when coming up with these designs while still not sacrificing the realism of the nature. The incredible amount of unique ideas and effects, plus the great fall down and execution, make this one of the best domino events to have ever taken place. Alright, so coming into the number 9 spot, we have Dominoes vs. Machines Round 5 by Jack of All Spades 98 and Mar Dominoes. So, it's always really cool to see videos where we get a showcase of both the domino and machine sides to the community, but this year's episode just takes things to the next level, with honestly some of the best domino machine clips this series has ever seen. Alright, so starting off with the machine side, once again Lyle has managed to completely top himself when it comes to both the mechanical and visual aspects of his clips. Personally for me, the pathing systems, so as being uh, really fascinating in comparison to previous episodes, but you know, I guess I expect nothing less from Lyle nowadays. Um, this year the domino portion was built by Nathan, and it just completely blows all the previous domino segments from the series out of the water. Originality really stands out here, especially because with dominoes I feel that it's really really difficult nowadays to come up with completely new designs and structures without resorting to things that aren't really domino oriented but Nathan just pulls us off flawlessly and it's amazing to see. But yeah, awesome job guys and definitely deserving of a place in the top 10. Number eight, The Blue Marble by Caplomino. The one ball path concept has been a trend in the community for years now, but when Caplomino posted this video, it single-handedly blew every other one ball path machine out of the water. Taking inspiration from his viral hit in 2016, Magnets and Marbles, the Blue Marble is able to deal with the common issues of a one ball path machine, such as the ball running out of potential energy in a way that is very elegant, tasteful, and creative. The foreign object usage is top notch, especially as clever ways of implementing magnetic energy. Despite all the tricks being relatively small, each one is presented very nicely, which results in a work filled with movements that are simply pleasing to watch. Since the release of this video, every work Caplomino has created has been based off of this one, and with such a well done debut, this collection of tilted board chain reactions has become an unprecedented series within the community. Number 7, Domino Chaos 4 by Mar Dominoes. Definitely one of the best domino setups of the year and deserving of a spot on this list. This setup has many different types of tricks, each one toppling right after the last, giving it a fast pace and, pretty much, eliminating the concept of transition lines. Mar Dominoes is in his element, simply doing what he does best. Split off tricks and new structures are always cool, but of course, the variety doesn't stop there. The best original trick from this project is the interlocking chaos wall completely beyond comprehension. Elements from older Mar Dominoes setups like Jenga blocks, wooden dominoes, and the spiral staircase are brought back and used in different ways once again. The wealth of materials here also gives each section of the project a different height, adding to the variety. Domino Chaos 4 is like the rare movie sequel or remake that will actually gain its audience's respect and age well by giving off some of the same energy that every installment before it had while not deviating from the mindset of the core artist. Number 6, The Current Center Machine. Jack of All Spades 98's Current Center Machine, like his earlier six simple machines in one, 
represents a bit of a departure from his typical single table style. While it retains much of the complexity and multi-use of his usual machines, it's more of a middle ground between compactness and a live event. With larger and more intuitive motions, very creative use of foreign objects such as water, and most of all, a cohesive theme. In fact, because it was not built exclusively for a YouTube audience, the emphasis on theme is very strong in this machine. Larger themed ideas are still connected in Jack of All Spades 98's typical style, with creative and unique small connections that, while not tricks in their own right per se, still hold viewer attention and showcase innovative uses of objects in new and unexpected ways. A few examples of these can be found in the sequence immediately following the dump truck. However, there's also a significant focus on larger unthemed tricks. Of course, this is to be expected as the living building challenge is not the easiest theme to work with, and indeed having so many themed tricks and materials is already very impressive. The inclusion of large unthemed tricks, however, does serve to somewhat break up the themed flow of the machine, if only because viewers might be looking for theming and tricks which do not actually have any. Overall, though, there are one or two instances of tricks that might somewhat interrupt the flow of the machine, but the machine itself is very impressive in its length, the actual machine is nearly 3 minutes long, and its smooth movement from table to table, with a nice mix of differently paced tricks and even a little bit of music synchronization thrown in. Number 5, The Cake Server by Joseph's Machines One of the biggest successes from the past year has been Joseph's Machines, who has grown his channel to now be the most subscribed machine builder on the platform. His best and most famous machine from 2018 has been his cake serving machine, which excellently takes the bygone style of newspaper originated Rube Goldberg machines and makes them into a reality in a way that is so absurd and incredible that the result is utterly comical. The goal of this machine is to streamline dinner and dessert, and I'm especially in awe of how he uses every single object to its fullest potential, such as a glass of orange juice that spills over and then refills itself or a block of butter that moves itself by being melted. As you can see, every idea in this machine is insanely clever and unique, which makes the machine very memorable. And then Joseph's presence in the machine adds a whole other layer of enjoyment in the way that he remains calm and chews on potatoes as giant wheels roll over his head and potted plants fall off a shelf and crash right in front of his eyes. This machine really highlights the great lengths that Joseph is willing to go in turning his brilliant ideas into a reality which includes putting a small baby at risk from a self-destructing laptop, which is questionable, but his incredible mechanical instincts and perfect execution make the cake server one of the greatest endeavors of chain reaction art in 2018. All right, so at number four, we have Just Offer Any Suggestion, episode one by Jack of All Spades 98. So this is a series started by Lyle, similar to that of uh, Eleven Inventions, where he builds clips based off of comment suggestions, and oh man, what a way to start the series. So this video includes 10 clips. Each one of them is so crazy that he literally could have made each clip a separate video, but when all of them are combined together, it's honestly just astounding. So once again, there's a perfect balance here between intricate mechanisms that will satisfy anyone with even the slightest mechanical inclination, but there's also path systems and motions of the actual tricks themselves that are crazy enough to blow the minds of literally anyone who watches the video. So, you know, this is the absolute golden standard for machine building and more than deserving of making the top five of this list. So congratulations and awesome job, Lyle. Number 3, 32,000 Dominoes by Mar Dominoes. This video is truly one of the best domino videos the community has ever seen. This is an amazing domino setup created by domino builder Mar Dominoes, who spent many months planning and building this. What really stands out in this setup is the perfect balance that Nathan was able to achieve, and how well everything in the setup works together. Every color combination and every little detail is unique in its own way, which gives the setup a lot of variety and every single design and structure is new or original. The color combinations in this setup are somewhat simple, but extremely well thought out. And of course, they all complement each other. And then all of this is combined with the satisfaction of watching the setup fall perfectly from beginning to end, without any impurities or camera changes. Seeing the whole setup fall down in one shot to me personally is so much more of an experience than seeing the camera angle change even a couple of times. 
Not changing the angle allows the viewer to easily stay engaged through the setup, almost like the viewer is watching it in person. Overall, this setup is incredible. With many innovative ideas and an amazing flow and balance, this is definitely the best setup of the year and one of the best videos of all time. Number 2, 11 Inventions Part 8 by The Invention 11. The Invention 11 has been at the very top of machine builders for years now, and this video really captures what is so great about his building style, and it's that his machines have the ability to appeal to just about anyone. A casual viewer is guaranteed to be blown away by the eye-catching effects while those with more experience can marvel at the ingenious mechanisms used to achieve these effects, and making him a favorite among both domino and machine builders. Time after time, he has perfected his style to be as clean and refined as possible, while creating stunning motions that consistently subvert the viewer's expectations, and the result is downright mesmerizing. The concepts behind these effects are so original and daring that no one else in their wildest dreams could ever come up with them, such as implementing a backspin into a chain reaction, and yet he executes them flawlessly with such elegance. His machines are some of the most complicated, and yet they never make the viewer feel lost or confused. I could go in depth into each and every trick, but most of them pretty much speak for themselves and how brilliant they are. Despite it being just over a minute long, it's because it is so straight to the point and doesn't waste the viewer's time that it works so effectively. I definitely recommend giving it a watch, because no matter what your background in machines is or how much experience you have, you are pretty much guaranteed to be satisfied, and that is something that no one else is able to achieve quite like the Invention 11. And finally, number one, The Lemonade Machine by Sprice Machines with help from Hevish 5, The Invention 11, Doodle Chaos, Dr. Complicated, and Five Mad Movie Makers. Sprice Machines has been at the forefront of innovation in the Chain Reaction community since he began building a decade ago, and The Lemonade Machine is yet another example of Sprice introducing a new gold standard to the world. This machine is his magnum opus, a project so ambitious that it required years of conceptualization, months of planning, and seven days of building. By traversing each and every room and weaving its way among every conceivable building surface in this California Airbnb, the Lemonade Machine harkens back to some of the oldest viral videos of Chain Reactions and provides a long overdue update to the genre of housewide Chain Reactions. The machine clocks in at a staggering 10 minutes, and although the machine drags a bit at points, the Lemonade machine keeps a surprisingly quick pace throughout most of its duration. Another strength of this machine is the cohesion among each of the team members' building styles, while maintaining a sense of uniqueness among the sections. Steve's large-scale kitchen section contrasts with Robert's Sky Rail and Hot Wheels connections, which contrasts with Joel's intricate office-themed tabletop segment. Yet, all of the segments flow effortlessly together. Not every trick in the Lemonade Machine is the next best complex insane machine trick, but everything is made in such a brilliant style that it's easy to forget to care about that. From my personal perspective, the Lemonade Machine legitimized a style of machine building that I was previously never able to fully appreciate. The deceptively simple style exemplified by every member of the team here is the antithesis to my complex, compact, and insane building style, and before this machine, I couldn't fully appreciate machines that didn't attempt to shatter the envelope in the insanity department. Creating simpler ideas, using more everyday objects, didn't seem like as much of a challenge as creating complicated tabletop mechanisms that value compactness and complexity over all else. But the Lemonade Machine single-handedly caused a change of heart for me. This machine taught me how to appreciate the brilliant uses of everyday objects in novel, unique ways. Although I still prefer my trademark style, I have a renewed sense of appreciation for a style of machine building that, on the surface, appears to be a polar opposite of mine. Which is why Sprice Machine's Lemonade Machine is not only the best video of 2018, but also a historic project in the grand timeline of the machine community, just as important as the first ISM as far as I'm concerned. This machine brings me the same joy that I originally got from watching machines four to five years ago when I got inspired to start building myself. None of the fantastic machines and screen links made by builders in the last half decade have been able to even come close to that original magic I felt then. The Lemonade Machine captures that magic.
Hi everyone, thanks for watching our picks for the top 10 best domino and machine videos of the year. I would like to give a big thank you to all of the other judges who helped make this video possible, and an even bigger thank you to those judges who helped by writing a review for this video. It was very kind of them, and also to Brady for editing the video. As I said, the link to the playlist of all 10 videos is in the description. I highly recommend checking them out. And also, there's a link to a Google Doc with all the information on the judging process and how the top 10 was decided, so I recommend checking that out as well if you like data. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Take care, everyone.